CNN 7 reporter Patissa Mfuyo joins us live from Durban for more. Good morning to you, Patissa. Just let us know if the momentum in Durban has picked up regarding this Kosatu national strike action. indeed since I crossed this morning people have started gathering the music is loud it looks like we're about to move anytime soon now uh, but as everyone else KwaZulu Natal is joining the nation as they march against state capture and corruption but not only that they're also looking at job losses they're looking at the end of labor broking so Kosatu is out in numbers together with other unions here in KwaZulu Natal just to to march as the, the marching tour from King Tunuzuli Park were marching towards the city hall where the Premier of KwaZulu Natal is expected to accept the memorandum uh, on behalf of government. Uh, but uh, things have picked up, people have started arriving in their numbers. Uh, as Latasha was saying, uh, here in Devon also there are some ANC members that have joined the march. They are here wearing their ANC t shirts so it looks like even here in KwaZulu Natal it is a mix of both the unions and the ANC joining the union. But now I'm joined by the president of Kosatu who's here in KwaZulu Natal who has been deployed in the province uh, for the KZN March uh, to talk us through about what we can expect today. Babu Jamini, thank you so much for joining us. I see the numbers have started picking up. Uh, there are buses uh, over there that I can see people are starting uploading. What can people expect today? Yes, indeed. Uh, we are assessing a very positive response by our members to honor this day. It's Kosatu Day here. Yes, we have our friends and associates who have joined us here. It's a successful uh, day and we hope by the end of the day we would have made the statement that corporate capture, state capture has got to be dealt with in this country. Uh, it has got to be <clears throat> controlled it has got to be defeated corruption must be nabbed to where it comes from and those who are guilty of that they must be taken to book but also workers who are exploited through labor brokers in this country are raising their voice that they want labor brokers to be banned they want it all in Houghton to be scrapped we want a national minimum wage in this country we want to work under healthy and safety conditions in mines and every other area of work. That's why we are here today and we are very happy that our members have heeded the call and they are coming here. Uh, Babu Tamini, we've always seen marches, uh, people marching against various issues in South Africa, but we, we never see the results. Do you think that this mass mobilization will bring results? I think to say we never see the results will be an undermining of the little progress that happens on each occasion we march. You can go to the history of the struggle against the Atolls, where we have registered some progress. The thing is still there, it has got to go, but we have registered progress in defense of the workers. The labor broker system was a life sentence. It's now three months and employers are still uh, avoiding that law, but the law is there for workers to be deemed to be fully employed and fully benefiting like the rest of their colleagues at the workplace. So there is uh, some progress, but the fact remains is that our challenges, as we are raising them, they are still confronting us. And we should not say we will stop struggling purely because those who are in power at that moment are not listening. We'll one day get those who will listen. Do you think that government will listen as we know that nationwide people have come out in their thousands in support of this march? Do you think that government will finally get the message? Government must get the message. South Africa is saying what they are saying about these issues. And if it's a government of the people, they've got to listen. Let them get out of their high horses and say how they are going to respond to these issues because what i see now is a groundswell a wave of anger that is emerging in society and the ruling party has got to respond to that quite positively thank you very much baba for joining us that was sudumo who is the president of kosat